Time to wake up. I gotta get to work. Oh, am I gonna make it? The boss hates when I'm late. Then again, it's not like business has picked up any. Hey, I'm here. How'd she get in if no one's here yet? Good morning. I'm real sorry. I hope you haven't been waiting long. Huh? Mm. Oh, right. She needs some water. Oh, no thanks. A pint. I mean, a cup of coffee, please. Oh, and bring the whole jar of sugar. I'm gonna need it. Right. That's one cup of joe. And I'll get you one of the big jars. Has nobody made the coffee yet? Come on, get it together, guys. I'm sorry, miss. This might take a while. Hey, no hurry. Time's not an issue. Here you go. Thank you. Sure.
predicting your age, huh? Hey, don't talk down to me. Listen, last time I checked, little bro, I've been around a few minutes longer than you. <sighs> okay, okay. I get it already. Very sorry. <laughs> so, what's up? I'm all ears. Well, you don't have to get all sarcastic. Uh... You really are all ears. Uh, what? Forget it. So long. Have you seen anybody this morning? Well, yeah, I mean, I'm looking right at you, aren't I? And there's that customer. What? Ah! Oh, hello! You didn't even see her? Dude. Uh, yeah, but... Ah! Uh, look! Come with me right now! Easy! There's nobody here! So it's a quiet morning. Maybe they just... I mean no one! Huh? Lon, have you bumped into anyone today besides her? Uh, now that you mention it, I guess not. And this isn't setting off any alarms? Well, should it? You two really don't remember a thing. Huh? What was that? Who are you? If you're from around town, then I don't know you. Uh, Rain Manners. You two really don't remember a thing. Would you please just answer my question? You can call me Anna Crow. Anna Crow will work. Okay, well, we woke up to a ghost town this morning. Maybe you know why? Yes, you're quite alone. But you always have been. Huh? This world, it's always been the two of you. A world without time. One that ended when it began. What? That's the weirdest thing I've heard. But don't worry. Just because the world ended doesn't mean that it's going anywhere. You know, I have been checking up on you two. Until now, you were nothing but blank stares. So imagine my surprise when Lon took my order. What a morning. Okay. Now you're kind of scaring me. So, now that you're awake, we've got a story to tell. Which brings us to... Tama! Right to here! Uh, who the hog put this thing on my head? Yeah, I did try to mention it before. You take it from here. I'll go on ahead and link up a path. You the duck! Huh? <laughs> hey, hey! You hey, can't just uh... leave! Salutations! The name is Tama, and I'm here to help out. Does anyone have any questions? <sighs> Wait, I've got tons of questions. Why were you sitting on my head? And how long can a fox even talk? That's the seriously the first thing on your mind? <sighs> now I see why in a crow is just about the ready to throw in the towel. We're not allowed to be confused? Uh, hey, whoa, well, take it easy there, Lon. I thought you were upset too! Let's start the over. I'll make us some of the coffee. Huh? Oh, yes, please. But I already made some coffee before you got here. How can you just roll with this rain? Chill the owl! You'll live the much longer. Yeah, Lon. You shouldn't start out your morning with so much stress. Oh, would you the like some sugar? Three cubes for you, right, Lon? Huh? I'm good uh, with just one. No. Okay, I... I'll the go and put the coffee on. But I just said I... You know what? Just give me my dang cup of coffee. Garage keepers? Me and Rain? That's the correct! Those the marks on your arms are proof. You were born to work the miracles! Miracles? Our arms can... do that? Dude... How could you the forget? You used to command a whole legion of them! You were masters of them! Powerful living illusions known as mirages! In the fact, even the Pleiad answered to you and those are the seven strongest mirages of all! With their power, you could have the ruled over all the world! Oh... So... We could... 
could have ruled the world? Because, what, we controlled these mirages? Well, that's what I've heard. From who? What do you mean? In a crow that told me, of course. But enough the reminiscing. I've got to teach you two to use mirages again. What? How's that? First off, I'm going to present you with my very own prismarium. So what does it do? With this prismarium, the mirage inside becomes yours. And you can then make it do the anything and the everything you command. So let's the try it right now in glorious combat. Wait. trying to do, so make the sure you use them wisely. Yeah, that's the way to the do it. All right, all right. I think I've seen enough for one to tussle. That was a good fight. To figure it out yet? The two of you? We're under-surpassed. No, the Mirage could stand up to you. Dude, seriously? Dude, the seriously. It's hard to believe. I'm sure it is. As far as I can tell, you two have lost everything. All the memories and experience you've ever accumulated. Oh, but wait. Of course that would have happened when you and this world were spliced out. Huh? So not only did they lose the Mirages they had, They've been the stripped of all their memories of the Mirages, too? But I guess that explains why all their other memories seem to be largely unaffected. What? Listen, let me show you something. There, just beyond this light, lies another world called Grimoire. That is where you'll find all the Mirages you've lost. You mean they're all inside this gate? You got it. Are you ready to conquer them again? So, um, if we do manage to find all the lost mirages, does that mean we'll be able to remember the things we forgot? Well, I don't know about that. After all, you lost your memories. It's not the same thing as forgetting them. Oh. But, even if you don't remember Grimoire, Grimoire still knows a lot about you. You're certain to find traces and records of your past. Okay, so like... You're saying whether we remember anything about ourselves or not, we can still find clues about our past and the things we've done? Correct. And if you keep on gathering mirages, I think you might even meet your family in due time. Uh, our family? Huh? Well, I guess it does make sense that we'd have parents. Oh, yes. So then, you going? You going? Will you journey to Grimoire? <sighs> 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 Chapter 1 Land of the Lilikin. So, this must be Grimoire. What? Awesomely weird. Well, this kind of works out. We won't have anybody gawking at our arms. Way to find the silver lining. I guess we should head straight down this path. It's the only direction we can go. Think you can manage to not get lost? 
you know, just this once. What? I'm not gonna get lost? Yet? Oh, hello. I spy another mirage. That is the call to Choco Chick. What are you the waiting for? Go on and imprison the it. Okay. Oh. Sort of like a prismarium. What is it? That's the call to prism. Use it to the make the Choco Chicks prismarium. Every time you find a new the mirage you haven't seen before, it'll be recorded in Anna Crow's special mirage manual. Whoa! Does it even have pictures? You the betcha. And then whenever you add a new mirage to the manual, you receive one of its prisms. But only the first time the mind you. Okay, first try the weakening the Choco Chick, then the use your prism. That was a good fight. Cool. I can see the Choco Chick running around in the prismarium. Pretty the neat, huh? Next, why the don't you have a go at stacking that Choco Chick on your head? Here, watch. I'll just show you. Oh, now I get it. So when I saw you perched on Lon's head back in Ninewood Hills, that's what you call stacking. Yep. That's the right! While I'm up to here, I get to take it nice and the easy. Uh, is that stacking or slacking? When you create a stack, the HP of everyone in the stack gets the added together. Like they say, strength in the numbers. Oh, so it's like combining into a super robot. Better than yet, your magic and other abilities have the potential to change too. It all depends on how your stack is the configured. Huh? Oh, I don't need any action figures when I get to blast out super attacks like a super robot. Well, just be the careful. Stacking doesn't make you invincible. Some of the enemy attacks have the power to unstack you. In other words, bye-bye super robot, so to speak. Yowzers. It does sound like bad news. It's true that we are individually the weaker when we're unstacked. But look on the bright side. Since we each get our own the turn in battle, we can use the extra moves to have one member attack and another the heal. It can be very the helpful. Depending on the situation, you might even decide to unstack yourselves by choice. Think the carefully, and choose the best setup for the job. So, Tama, I notice mirages disappear when we defeat them. Why is that? Most of the mirages you see in Grimoire don't actually the technically belong in this world. And so, when one of you guys that gives them the old KO, they can't maintain their presence here anymore. They fizzle that out and go back to their own worlds. Huh. Wait. Now, that's weird. Who was it that told me all this before? Ugh. It's like... right there, on the tip of my tongue. Now what's this? This is the Kata Merkrift. Inside, you're the likely to find mirages that are, shall we mirages? say... Mirages? Oh man, let's go catch them! But... Uh, this one's not very cute. Mon! Why did you... Now what do we do? I tried to tell you. Inside Mercris, you're likely to find mirages that are the strong and dangerous. You tried to the tell us. Try a little harder, please. Oh! 
die already? What? I died? But that's... no way! Maybe it's true. That mirage in the Murkrift did kinda... Well, I'm still alive. Yes. That's because someone intervened. Right at the moment of your demise. And made it so the battle never happened. Wow, you can really do that? Of course. Although Tom is the one who does it. That's the right! I have the power to rewind time a little. And then the whisk you to safety. Although, it costs me a life to do it, so I hope you don't mind if I rest for a little of the while afterwards. A life? You might not believe it, but I've actually got multiple lives. Back there, I had to sacrifice one of those lives to turn back time and to save you. You see, this girl with the ribbon that showed up in my dreams, she's the one who taught me how to do it. That makes zero sense and kind of freaks me out, but Tama, I'm impressed. But thanks! Oh, but just so you know, I can only the use my powers to protect the two of you specifically. And only the if you lose a fight, like what happened to you in the Murkrift. Oh, the yeah. And I can always the recover my lives if you stay here and let me the rest a spell. So, don't forget to give me a breather before I run out of second the chances. Dude, you got it. Say no more. Rest yourself silly. Yes, the sir. Thanks, Tama. We really owe you one. Especially Lon, who didn't have the good sense to listen before diving in. D uh, <laughs> hey, who's that? Oh, if you mean our new guest, she claims to have gotten herself lost. Go say hello. She's quite the character. Uh, okay. The uh, real question is how she got she here from the outside world when it's there. no easy trick. Oh, she must have like experience hey. crossing between Would planes. Oh, wow. She's so tiny. Is she, uh, what's the word again? Lilikin? Chocobo Colina! Oh. <coughs> Hello, and how are you? Hmm? Uh, good. More or less. You know, what a nice, quiet place. Oh, uh... So who are the you? Oh, you can call me Choco Latte. I seem to have washed up here like a soggy yellow feather in a storm. Huh? I do have this funny knack for winding up in strange places. Uh, cool. All right. Care to shop? I've got the goods. Choco Poco Chain. Whoa! Slow down. What kind of operation is this? It's called a shop, dear. You're in luck. I find all kinds of stuff as I bounce from point A to point Q. I'm your Choco connection. Uh, 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 show that yourself, Seraphie. I didn't know it was you. Uh, you had it coming. You know, when you awakened, you should have woke me up, too. I don't remember raising you to be such a selfish selfer poo. Well, I don't remember you the raising me at all! Who's this? Oh, hi. I'm just your adorable local wind pixie, a.k.a. Seraphie. My hobbies include gossip mongering and, uh, let's see. Oh, I'm good at hoarding things. Yep. Hoarding? Hoarding? Why do you think I'm here? You must have tons of prismariums. More than you can handle, right? Well, we're still working on it. Uh-huh. You'll have scads of them before long. You're gonna need a place to unload. Yeah, they are kind of bulky. Well, who's got you covered? This pixie right here. Anacrow made me a special prism case that lets me keep all your prismariums safe. Just plonk the ones you don't need in and yoink the ones you do need out. All plonking and yoinking must be performed within the confines of Nine Wood Hills or from an alternate location with a suitably strong connection. Additional terms, conditions, and restrictions may apply. Okay. I'm not sure I caught every single word, but I guess I agree. 
Oh, yeah. This Prismarian belongs to one of my tribe. Treat it with the same boundless love and affection you feel for me. Okay. Seraphie's kind of a special the case. Anyway, I think you should be able to manage on your own from here. You mean you're the leaving us? Yes. You handle things now. Oh, okay. I the will. It's cool. <clears throat> I'll lock this place down tighter than a Marlboro's bottle of mouthwash. That's a Seraphie guarantee. Calm it down. But, she but where are you going me. now? Oh, well. Somewhere what else, of mean? course. Yeah, that's huh? not exactly very helpful. Awesome. Look, we really need to ask you so many things. No, no, you'll figure it out. I can't do everything for you now. Everything? But you've barely done anything. Besides, every world has its own rules. Like water dousing fire. And light banishing darkness. Uh, I think that's just called science? Well, I designed mine to be so completely unbreakable that even I can't undo them. Undo what? The rules. <sighs> You're bad at explaining. You're saying you can't help because that violates the rules of the world or something? Exactly. But why is that? I mean, come on. Just who do you think you are? Me? Oh, well... I'm God. <laughs> bye, Hasta bye, la vista. She's gone. Dude. Uh, I guess we can't necessarily rule it out, but for somebody calling the cosmic shots, she seems kind of sub-benevolent. Well, that's Anna Krell for you, so get used to it. So, she really is God? Beats me. Anna Crow is Anna Crow, wouldn't you say? Pity the much. Uh, thanks for clearing it up. <laughs>